Okay, guys. Today, we're going to be talking about the why and the when of carrying 9 mil. Now, if you've been around the channel here of late, I've been showing off a lot of 9 mil handguns, such as the CZP-10C Springfield Compact RO and the Glock 19. And with all this discussion of 9 mils, there has been some misleading statements and maybe some statements that I haven't clarified exactly on. And this has led people... This has led people to uh, extrapolate information that just isn't true to what I think, or most importantly, how I actually practice carrying. And so that's why I'm doing this video is to help clarify and just firm my position up on when I carry a 9 mil and why I carry them. The primary reason I own and carry 9 mils is for the purpose of or situations when I don't want a gun to be detected on my body. These are usually situations where I'm not breaking the law by any stretch of the imagination, but I just want to have a gun on me that's good for self-defense and self-protection that can remain undetected by people at large. So if I'm going to a place like Costco and I don't want everyone in the whole world to know that I have a gun on me, I'll take something like my Springfield Compact RO because it's a gun that I can carry appendix and all but forget it's there. And it's a gun that doesn't print, doesn't show that it's there, and it's something that's easy for me to hide. So the primary reason I like to have a 9mm or a few good compact 9 mils is because I like to have options when, when I need a true concealed carry handgun that is going to not print, that's not going to show up, that's not going to be noticeable or detectable by really anyone, regardless to how close or how far away they are to me. That is why, partially, I like smaller handguns like this. They're single stack, they're really slim, and easy to just throw in the waistband and disappear, get gone, so to speak. So that's why I carry, that's why I own 9 mils, and that is when I primarily carry 9 mils. So that's my on-street uh, carry or why I carry a 9 mil, and that consists of about 90% of the reason and the why the when I carry a 9 mil handgun. So the other 10% is in the wilderness. Now, I generally, I think this is where most of the confusion comes from, is my wilderness carry of 9 mils. Now, I want to make it very clear that the time frame that I carry 9 mils is only in the very late fall throughout the winter. I don't carry 9 mils out in the wilderness, deep wilderness in the summer or in the spring at all. And the only reason I carry 9 mils, and at that I carry a CZP-10C with an 18 round magazine and one in the chamber, so it's quite a bit of capacity. But the only reason I carry it in late fall and through the, throughout the winter is one, it is lighter weight to carry uh, with winter gear, and two, the primary aggressor that in Alaska, or at least central Alaska, during the winter that will actually attack humans is going to be the wolf. And it's not saying that six rounds of 44 wouldn't do the job on a wolf. It's just that 44 is such an overpowered cartridge for something like a wolf. And if you can get something like a nine mil, it'll be sufficient enough to stop a wolf or a few wolves, and it'll give you better capacity. So that is the only time that I carry nine mils out in the woods. So let's talk about the times that I don't carry a 9mm. So I carry a 9mm on the street for self-protection and occasionally in the woods for light protection against predatory dogs, basically. You know, things such as wolves, maybe a rabid coyote, probably not, primarily wolves. So I don't carry them, so I don't carry a 9mm once again, in the spring and in the summer. In the summer and spring, when I'm going out into the wilderness, in, especially in the deep wilderness, or if I know that there are a presence of bears of any size, whether that be black bears, grizzly bears, uh, whatever type of bear, so black bears, brown bears, grizzly bears, whatever, I'm not going to carry a 9 mil. And that is because while I do believe that certain rounds of 9 mil could stop a black bear, I would not want to trust my life to a 9 mil. If I really saw a black bear and I came face to face with it and it really wanted to eat me, I would feel much more comfortable with something like a 44 in my hand being able to stop the threat and neutralize that animal. So that is exactly what I do. Whenever I'm out in the woods in the summer 
or in the spring when bears are coming out of hibernation, when they're at their most hungry, and when they're honestly most likely to attack, I only carry 44 magnums or I carry 10 mil or 45 ACP plus P. And those are all rounds that I feel comfortable enough that if something like a black bear or a brown bear were to see me and want to aggress, I could properly defend myself. And I want to make it clear that I mean defend myself. I do not necessarily feel the most comfortable saying that a 10 mil or a 45 ACP plus P could kill a bear, but I do believe, especially with something like a Glock 21 or a Glock 20, that you could put enough rounds into a bear that it would cause enough damage to deter the bear from wanting to attack you any further. Once again, it's not probably going to die on the spot. It's probably not going to die instantly. You may get a headshot, you may be lucky, but by and large, you're probably going to do enough damage that the bear is no longer going to be interested in attacking you. And so with the 44, that is a little bit different. I do think and firmly believe that the 44 could incapacitate, especially black bears, but even up to brown bears for sure, it could certainly incapacitate them at close ranges. So that is my thoughts and when and why I carry and when I when and why I don't carry 9 mils. Now, the 9 mil round, especially with modern technology plus P loadings and the stuff that we have nowadays, I think is a very valiant cartridge for everyday carry. And that's why I have few 9 mils to work into my EDC rotation so that I can find the most applicable and appropriate 9 mil for my situation and for my needs. Now, Anyways, guys, that is all for now. God bless, and I'm out.